Hey guys, Jessica here. So today I wanted to talk about newborns and the main ways that they can lose heat. Um, stabilizing a baby's temperature and keeping them warm enough is very important. So there's four different methods of heat loss we're going to talk about today. Conduction, convection, evaporation, and radiation. So convection that's air currents that move warmer air away from the newborn. So for example, you have the baby in the crib and they're near an air conditioner or the door is open and the air is moving by where like say they don't have their blankets on, that's convection. Where does the sound? I think convection oven, you think you put something in to warm it up. It's happening with air in the microwave or whatever. So not that I'm saying you're going to microwave your baby, <laughs> but um if you just remember a convection oven like does air currents, that might help you remember that it's uh, taking the heat away of the baby. So either through an air conditioner, open door, something like that. Um, evaporation, that is most commonly, um, can most commonly occur if the baby's not dried well enough af right after delivery. So that's why we dry them off is to help prevent heat loss. But evaporation is, is moisture that it wicks the heat away from the baby. So if the baby's in wet clothes or they have a wet body that's not totally dry, the heat gets sucked away from the baby. Um, another method is conduction. So this is, if you think um, conduction wire, it's touching. It's anything you're touching. So to your whole cold hands touching a baby. It's a baby touching the side of a cold crib or side of cold car seat or something that causes them to lose heat. Very important that you watch for cold objects, surfaces, things like that. Um, the last option is radiation and the heat is lost by being near something. So if you put the baby near the window and it's cold outside, they could lose their heat from being near the window or being near um, a doorway, things like that. So we have convection which is baby losing with air currents. So think air conditioner, whatnot. Evaporation, if we don't dry them good enough after they're born, the moisture will wick the heat away from the baby. Conduction, the heat is lost through direct contact. So you're touching the baby, baby's touching the side of the crib, or your hands are cold, things like that. And then radiation, the heat is lost by being near a cold surface, so being near the window, things like that. So hope that helps you. Um, and remember to maintain your baby's temperature. Thank you.